Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today is August 21st, 2 p.m. Japan time. As usual today, I want to do a world news report. Every day I try and summarize all the important news uh, that I can in about a 10-minute YouTube video uh, so you don't have to read the papers if you don't want to. For those of you new viewers and subscribers, my name is Dan Takashi for who I am. Uh, in terms of the details, please see the description area below. I'm a former Wall Street guy, uh, trader and hedge fund guy, and then uh, traveled the world and came back to Tokyo, Japan, where I was born at the end of 2019. Just started this YouTube channel uh, in Japanese at January this this year and just started the English version of this channel uh, just two months ago so hopefully you will subscribe and follow me going forward uh, as usual today I want to first start with a quick glimpse at the world stock markets and then go on to economic news society news political news at the very end I'll give you my opinion on what I think is the most important piece of news as well as answer some questions from the audience that I got from yesterday's video so let's get started guys first and foremost let's go over what happened in the markets today Today, the markets in the U.S. were open on the 20th. Now, looking at the markets on the 20th, Dow Jones today was up 0.17%. S&P 500 was up 0.32%. NASDAQ Tech was up 1.06%. Uh, TSX uh, Canada was up 0.18%. Looking at Europe, uh, a little bit of a different situation. But again, this is for the 20th. Uh, Euro stocks 50 was down today 1.32%. FTSE 100 is down 1.61%. This is for the UK. DAX uh, Germany down 1.14%. CAC France down 1.33%. IBEX uh, Spain down 1.42%. Now looking at Asia, this is for the 21st. Uh, the Nikkei is today up 0.37%. Topics is up 0.34%. Uh, Hang Seng Hong Kong is up 1.38%. CSI China up 1.11%. ASX Australia down 0.07%. And finally, MSCI Asia Pacific Emerging Markets down 1.55%. Overall, looking at this very interesting trend again, Europe is underperforming very heavily. Uh, see now that Spain is down 20% on the year. Uh, FTSE uh, UK is down 16.5% on the year. So this is a drastic difference in performance between what's going on in Europe and the rest of the world, uh, whether it's US, Canada or Asian markets. So again, this is what I thought uh, you should be paying attention to today. Now let's move on to economic news. For economic news today, a lot of inflate data out from Japan, actually. So number one, in Japan, the annual inflation rate in Japan rose to 0.3% in July of 2020 from an over three-year low of 0.1% in the prior month. Uh, so the market consensus was 0.1%. So this is actually very, very good news. Um, so inflation rate, this is by the consumer uh, and consumer prices. Uh, hitting 0.3%, finally going in the right direction slightly. Uh, still very far from the Bank of Japan's goal, but this was a somewhat uh, positive piece of news. Other types of uh, Japanese economic data today. Uh, the Japan Bank Services PMI came out, unexpectedly fell to 45 in August. Uh, from a final 45.4 and missing the market expectations of 51. So below 50 is indicating a contraction, uh, indicating that services, unfortunately, was in a contraction phase for August. Um, also, the manufacturing PMI. So guys, PMI, uh, please look at my old videos. You can type in the search bar uh, as to what is PMI, why is it so important? There's two types of PMIs, basically for each country. There is service and manufacturing. So in Japan, uh, manufacturing PMI also was announced today. It rose to 46.6 in August from a final 45.2 a month earlier and compared with market expectations of 49. So again, both the uh, PMI for manufacturing and services were below 50 unfortunately uh, finally for Australia there was also PMI released today uh, in Australia PMI services PMI released uh, plunged to 48.1 in August from 58.2 in the previous month so again big drastic fall it seems that there was a uh, bit of a quick upswing uh, v-shape recovery and then now a little bit of a contraction again for August looking at a lot of this data so this is sort of interesting to see let's move on now to uh, society data uh, the first piece of news that I want to go over is, as usual, what's going on with coronavirus. So today, number of daily new cases reported across the world for coronavirus reported for August 20th was 267,794 new cases. Uh, unfortunately, this is still a little bit high. However, I still remain with my thesis that we are in a stabilizing phase, a peaking out phase, hopefully, and that we will start going down afterwards. Looking at the daily new number of deaths, this was also announced today for August 20th at 6,188. Uh, again, I remain with my thesis that I hope this, hopefully this is a peaking out phase. 
Looking at by country for a uh, daily new number of cases, U.S. today reported 45,000 new cases, Brazil about 45,000, India about 68, 69,000 new cases, uh, Peru about 8,000, 9,000, and Colombia about 11,000 new cases. So um, not too much of a change from yesterday. India is ticking back up close to 70,000. So keep a wary eye on this. Otherwise, we'll see what happens uh, into the weekend. I'm sort of noticing that the trend changes a little bit maybe it's the number of cases that go down worldwide especially in brazil it seems like the numbers seem to go down into the weekend so let's keep an eye on what happens there and other types of news today uh lots of interesting uh news uh, one sort of interesting piece of article that caught my eye from cnbc was a report saying that 50 billion dollars of cryptocurrency moved out of china hinting at capital flight uh, for the Beijing rules. So obviously, new rules from China uh, have caught people, a lot of people off guard. Uh, a lot of people are feeling very cautious in China. So people are moving money out of China. These are Chinese domestic. Uh, and in China, Chinese citizens are only allowed to buy up to 50,000 US dollars of a foreign currency a year at a financial institution, very limited amount. But they can move money out in cryptocurrency. Uh, it is it is limited, it is regulated, but still people are doing it. So $50 billion of cryptocurrency moved out of China-based digital wallets to other parts of the world last year. So this is the key. It first starts with China digital wallets, and then it goes to other uh, digital wallets. This is how cryptos are stored. So this is indicating that people are moving money out of the country and cryptos are being used. Uh, interesting to see that this is quite a big number, $50 billion. Capital flight is happening already. Uh, I think it's probably going to happen even more now with the new rules that are coming into play because this was last year. Uh, this is not taking into account this year with crypto. I'm sorry, with the coronavirus, uh, with the new Chinese government regulations, probably more money is going to be moving out of China and also out of Hong Kong, I would assume, for this year, 2020. Moving on to uh, other types of news. Uh, the rest, almost all the news today is regarding Joe Biden's speech. Uh, <laughs> guys, I just have to say, look, I mean, I am very neutral. I, I'm going to say this very straight. So you, a lot of people are asking me. I am not a Democrat. I am not a Republican. I am neutral. It depends on the candidate. And I'm still feeling out both candidates. I don't know. Uh, Trump says a lot of strange things. Some of his policies, I agree. Biden says a lot of strange things. Uh, some of his policies, I agree, too. So it's hard to tell. But uh, I think it's sort of interesting what he was saying. Out of a season of darkness. Uh, so this is sort of uh, relating to a Star Wars episode where uh, he's painting himself as the light and Trump as the dark. Uh, so this caught a lot of people's attention with this uh, Democratic nominations uh, speech. So he was officially nominated as the Democratic candidate for the presidency. today. Uh, everybody knew that it was going to happen, but it now is official. Uh, what else happened today? Um, tons and tons of news. We've got a depicts vote as a battle of light and dark. Uh, for French, the virus uh, cases, coronavirus cases spiked to 4,700 in a day. Uh, this is sort of interesting. Two gold nuggets worth $350,000 found in Australia. Uh, only two nuggets, uh, $350,000. This is quite a big amount. So I'm indicating that these nuggets, nuggets are what a gold comes in. Uh, it's, it looks like this. Uh, this. This is quite a big number. So roughly about $175,000 per nugget. Uh, indicating a high concentration of gold. This does not happen that often. Being a gold bug, I love gold. Something like this happens. It makes me happy. Moving on to other types of news. Again, uh, when you look at the conservative side, we're talking about now bashing Biden. Uh, Biden vows to deliver America from darkness and nomination to Trump rips rival. <laughs> Trump says Democrats are pushing for mail-in voting as a way to steal the election. Uh, so again, he does not want to do a mail-in voting. Uh, the Democrats are sort of... I guess, uh, pushing for a mail-in voting. Uh, we'll see how this is. This will be very, very interesting how mail-in voting will uh, affect the presidential election. Uh, I don't have a lot of data on this. Uh, in terms of modern history for the last uh, few elections, most of it is not that much mail-in voting. So it'll be interesting to see how this gets affected. Otherwise, guys, political news, it's always the same. Light and darkness, light and darkness. Uh, this is our moment. This is... Our mission, Biden said in a call to action as he accepted the Democratic nomination speech. So this is going to continue on and on. Uh, we'll continue to look at the polls here. Um, you know, it is widening. It's been widening for the past few months, months relating to coronavirus. But as coronavirus subsides, I think that this uh, widening is also going to start to narrow as well. That's kind of my gut sense. So, guys, today, uh, what's the most important piece of news? Um, in my opinion, what I think you should be focusing on, especially for you guys in Asia and uh, Japan, uh, a lot of numbers came out in Japan, especially this uh, inflation number. 
I think this is very important. Japan consumer price inflation. This is one of the key metrics for the economy, uh, key metrics for the central bank and the government. Uh, Japan has had very low inflation for the past, well, almost 20 years. It's been close to zero. It's been zigzagging close to relatively around zero. One of the very few countries in the world, unfortunately. It's, in my opinion, the biggest financial problem for Japan. There's also society issues like population decline, but financial wise, this is the biggest problem, I believe. So uh, again, keep a wary eye on this. Keep watching this. 0.3% beat the market expectations. That's nice, but this is still tiny. Uh, Japan needs a stable around 2% inflation. It needs this, I think, to really get out of this deflationary bubble. It may even need higher. And again, also looking at the PMI data for Japan, I thought this was interesting. Uh, a bit of a setback here in the services. Uh, I was expecting the service sector to sort of rebound a little bit further when you look at the US and you'll all look at other countries. PMI is really rebounding, so it didn't do so in uh, Japan, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, also, when you look at PMI for the manufacturing, not services, it also still hasn't rebounded to coronavirus uh, prior highs. So I think this was the most important pieces of news that you should keep an eye on today. Finally, guys, uh, the questions and comments from the audience. The most common questions I got were regarding the gold and silver video yesterday. Uh, perhaps my uh, speaking was incorrect or my message was sort of uh, uh, not directed. Maybe, maybe I was just unclear in my message gold i still think is a buy longer term short term it's a do nothing that's what i think silver buy long term short term selling a little bit shorting a little bit platinum buy long term but short term selling just a little bit that's where i stand right now so hopefully that clarifies some things hopefully uh, you guys are clear more on my standpoint. Again, I'm one YouTuber, just one viewpoint. So uh, at the end of the day, please make your own judgment and investing is your self-responsibility. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have a great day. Wear your mask, stay safe, take your vitamins. Uh, very, very hot outside. I know Japan, uh, it's very hot. It's actually not as hot as Singapore, in my opinion, but it's still pretty hot. So guys, be wary. Don't have a heat stroke. Bring, uh, drink plenty of water as well. Thanks so much, guys, and I hope you have a great day.